Hello there, digital pioneers. It's Big Papa Code once again, breaking down the cyberspace speed limits for you. I've got my metaphorical driving cap on, so let's jump in the coding car and hit the information highway. Now we all know how vital speed limits are on our roads. They're there to ensure we all drive safely and no one becomes an unwanted guest on Highway Havoc. Now think of the digital realm as an enormous highway. You've got data zooming around, servers communicating at the speed of light, and applications racing to fetch resources. But here's the twist. Not everyone should be allowed to drive recklessly or hog the road. That's where our trusty pal rate limiting jumps in. Imagine a car trying to rush through this highway at 200 miles an hour, leaving a trail of confusion or even worse, causing a traffic jam. That's the digital equivalent of a user or service bombarding a server with zillions of requests, hogging resources and potentially crashing the server party. Rate limiting sets the digital speed limit, ensuring that everyone gets fair access, the system remains stable and the party keeps moving. Now, you may wonder, but Big Papa Code, what if someone's just a speed demon and loves pushing limits? Ah, young Padawan, that's where the tech magic happens. We use various rate limiting strategies to keep these digital racers in check. Starting with the token bucket. Think of it as your personal speeding allowance. You get tokens just like those arcade coins and each request costs you a coin. Speed too fast too often, you'll run out of tokens and you'll have to wait. No more requests for you until you gain back some tokens or the refresh timer fills your bucket. It's a way to say, take a break, speedster. Then there's the leaky bucket. Picture a bucket with a tiny hole. Incoming requests are like rain pouring into this bucket. If it rains too hard, the bucket fills up, and the excess water, well, it leaks out, or in our world, gets discarded. So if the requests come pouring in like a monsoon, the system will ensure only a steady flow gets through while the rest, you guessed it, leaks away. Finally, we have the fixed window. Let's imagine a scenario where our digital police monitor the highway traffic for an hour. If they see too many speedsters in that time frame, they'll set up barricades. Similarly, with this approach, the system checks the number of requests within a time window, and if they're too many, blocks any additional ones. It's like telling racers, hey, it's not the Grand Prix here. By employing these techniques, we ensure our digital world remains balanced, efficient, and accessible to all without any server toppling chaos. Remember, while speed is exciting, stability and safety are paramount. Now, students of the digital domain, as you navigate the vast expanses of the cyber universe, always remember, speed responsibly. Use rate limiting to ensure your applications are not only fast, but also safe and harmonious. And with that, class dismissed for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with your fellow technology enthusiasts. Until next time, my friends, keep those brackets in line and may your code be ever bug free. Big Papa Code out. P.S. Don't forget to check out me and my friends on the Deeper Than Code podcast available on all major podcasting platforms. Peace.